Welcome to Mora AFC. It is what it is. Just look how this beautiful shot is looking. Just amazing. But this cargo pocket outside, you know, it is what it is. At the end, I airport. Oh. So what are you waiting for? If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like and share and comment. I post videos every weekend. So every weekend, come check it out. You know, it is what it is. Just look how beautiful the outcome is. I'm going to teach you how to sew, cut, do everything, you know. D2, D2. You know, you just need your hip measurement, your waist measurement, your tie measurement, and the length of it. That's what we need, you know. But my, what was I deny if I deny if I put in your waist, your hip, your tie, and the length measurement. So let's get rumble. So this is my fabric, it's been folded into two. So I need my starting line. So that's my starting line that I'm marking with the length and the sewing allowance of the shot. So this is gonna stand as my starting line. Elastic, you know, so you have to measure, you have to know the kind of elastic you are using. I'm using one and a half. So I'm gonna measure three and a half because I'm gonna fold and a half and fold one and a half to it to get a perfect the elastic supposed to fit in perfectly so i'm marking three and a half but if you are using an elastic of one inch you have to mark two and a half capich you know quite elastic in your different sizes mm. it's elastic in your one and a half and you should use elastic and say one and a half and then just uh, three and a half oh so from that line from my second line I'm gonna mark 10 inches. 10 inches for my second line. As you can see, I'm marking, I'm using my second line. It is what it is. So, like I said, we're gonna use here is three and a half. So, I'm gonna mark one and a half at the top like this that is one and a half remember because the elastic is one and a half elastic in one and a half so i'm making one and a half now the length of my nika my shot so from that line i'll go down to the left that I desire. I want mine to be 24, so I'll mark 24. And you have to leave your sewing allowance, you know, to turn over at the, it is what it is. So that's the length of my trouser. I, my nika, hey, my shirt, hey, 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 hey. You know, in Africa, we call it nika, 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 Ghana, nika, Africa, nika, so tie you measure your tie you divide it by two if your tie is 40 you divide it by two that will give you 20 if your tie is 20 you divided by two that will give you 10 or well, tie number divided who we'll divide your tie now no i mark it by two and you mark it is showing your allowance one inch you add your show your allowance one inch to it so we are using a hip, you divide your hip into four, you divide your hip into four, and you add your sewing allowance to it, you are going to use the hip for the waist as well. For hip and the beach. For the measurement of your waist actual waist, you have to put there for, we are going to use that when we are sewing. But when cutting it, we use the hip as the waist. So I'll go down there. I'll go in by one and a half. I'll go in one and a half. Then you connect to the tie. No, I'll connect to my, the tie line. So from that part, it up the opening side of the knee, the opening side. The fourth side, the opening side is up to you how you want it to be. 
you want it to be big it's your size the one that when you measure it whatever you're gonna get you divide it by two from that part whatever you get you divide it by two if you want to use 20 you divide it by two it's 30 divided by two then you mark your idea showing allowance to it then you connect to the tag I want my button flap to be 7 so I just have to mark the 7 and cancel the other one, other line then join your curve so it's time to cut much work is done in the front and the back let me say heavy so when you fold it like this, cut the two cards. Now does way, now does way. I run a mini eye. Let them know they don't like it. I'm speaking another language. Pay your attention. If you don't understand, you just have to rewatch it again. So easy and so. Like a real limon, a catch, you know. You just have to put it on it and trace it. Very simple. I'm cutting trouser or knicker or short you know the front is always small and the back is always big you know so I'm gonna add two inches at the back as you can see I'm adding two inches maybe two inches effort you know Just tracing everything now. At the back, I go up by one and a half or one inch. Plus, it's elastic. You don't need to go up the you know, It's elastic, so you don't need to let it go very tight.
Hey, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and comment. Click on the notification bell. I post video there every Sundays, every Sundays. So come check it out. I post video every weekend. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and share if you need to. This beautiful channel, Mora FC. It is what it is. I didn't have a pot. So don't forget to subscribe. You know, I did all this one for you guys. So keep on learning, keep on expecting more. You know, this is the patch one of it. You learn how to cut and you gotta learn how to sew it. We move when we move and we move it. You know, it's just what it is, what it is. It's more IFC. So we're done with the cutting. Making notches. So this is how it's gonna be before half and fold it to the line so when I put the elastic on you can see that the elastic will fit in perfectly you're supposed to fit in perfectly don't let the waistband to be bigger than the elastic otherwise it won't look beautiful so this is the pocket I fold it into two that will be 7 by 15 inches So that is 7 by 15 for the 2. So when you open it up, Buma is 14 by 15. You cut 2. The same thing. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and comment. Click on the notification bell. I post video every weekend. Click on the notification bell. So anytime I post a new video, it will be updated. So it left with my bottom flap. I want my bottom flap to be 17. Hey, sorry, 17 oh, that's long. <laughs> 7 inches, 7 inches, no, 7 inches now. I want my button flap to be 7 inches. So we come back to the dress. This is the right and this is the left. So we take the right, you fold it a half inch, then you fold it, let it fall on the line. That's a tall line also. Let it fold it on the line so that you go inside. And you take the left. Four and a half inch. It have to go inward. Half inch again. You fold it inward so that you iron. You see where how it is. You have to look at the difference. There's a difference between the left and the right.
you can see I iron it straight away to the down there so you're gonna put on it like this then I'll fix this one inside like this that's where I'm gonna put my bottoms so it's gonna be something like thank you for watching is more I see